the Chase Thomas Podcast for people who have nothing but time to kill. Play for Pat. Yeah. And that, that's a big difference. Kelly and, and Holly played for Pat. Mm-hmm. Pat is echoes all over that arena. Yeah. Her pictures. I mean, the memories. They're in her office. I mean, they sit in Pat's old office. Yeah. It's it, they hear her voice. I mean, her voice pipes in on video or audio during the We Back Pat game. Mm-hmm. It is, I mean, that gutted both of them to lose yeah. Pat. I mean, particularly Holly, who was here and watched Pat deteriorate and then die. I mean, Holly was right there for all of it. Mm-hmm. And then Kelly comes in and and it has been gone. She's been gone for 20 years. So, but even then, that passage of time, it it, it hit. You could see that there's times it just hit Kelly, like hearing mm-hmm. Pat. She even talked about it after a wee back Pat game, hearing Pat's voice and saying, telling her players, wait a minute, that, that's my coach talking. Just give me a second. So yeah. it, it, it just is does Kim Caldwell have a have a big task at hand? Yes. I mean, right now, I can't imagine what her to-do list looks like. It, yeah. I mean, there, she has got to do everything right now. She has got to get in the portal. She's got to reach out to 2025. She's got to keep her team. I mean, step mm-hmm. number one is keep the team you have. Right. So they need FaceTime with her and, t- and and ability to talk to her and meet with her. Then you, you've got to try to make sure your 2025 recruits are, you know, that you're still going after them because they're waiting to see what the change looks like. So, and, uh, Next week, April 19th, the first uh, high school showcase in-person events from mm-hmm. Texas to uh, East Coast to West Coast. So she's got to get on the road and <laughs> find a staff to take with her. So, yeah, it, it's a lot. Even Kelly said when she got here, she felt like she was drinking out of a fire hose and she had been through it before. Mm-hmm. And so she, she's got a lot on her plate. When you think about Kelly and Holly, did it go awry the same way? Did they ha- uh, deal with the same struggles as the Lady Vols head coach? Like, what were some of the differences that you noticed covering both? Um, and what were some of the similarities uh, with their tenure as head coach? They, with with the Holly's group, they did really well for several years. And then mm-hmm. there was a couple seasons where team chemistry just never clicked. and mm-hmm. And that... I mean, they recruited well, but it was, yeah. and even Holly said afterwards, she goes, I wish I had recruited less, a little less talent and a couple more glue players hmm. because the chemistry just does never, for those last two seasons, never got on track. And you could, hmm. I mean, you could see it in that last season with the the brutal game where they lost to Vanderbilt at home. Hmm. And during the breaks in play, you would see Vandy huddled, or talking or you know, pl- a couple of players talking and, and Tennessee players just looked adrift. Yeah. I mean, just un- and almost unengaged, but in a sad kind of way. Yeah. So with, with Kelly, the pandemic did hurt. You, you, you all of a sudden can't recruit in person. It's a lot harder for a new head coach in the sec. And then high school recruiting, they, they did so well on the portal high school recruiting, you know, it's it, it it faltered at the beginning and then it got better. But then NIL entered. And I mean, Tennessee had a solid class. At least two kids I thought would sign in 2023 and NIL took them away. Hmm. And I mean, I mean, top, top players. Yeah. Top. I mean, top 10, top 25 players. So they, NIL has got to be fixed. Mm. There comes a cap. Um <laughs> There's patches. NIL absolutely has got to be fixed uh, for women's basketball. That that is, I mean, that's that's not really Kim's job, but she has to be up, you know, visible and supportive of it and that type type of thing. That comes from you know your collectives and your fans and sponsors and donors. Something I I wondered about. I mean, one of the ones that I think I wonder if it's just going to sit with Kelly for a long time is just if. The Bank Three doesn't go in. Nicely done, nephew. The Chase Thomas Podcast. Hell yeah.